If you cannot see, I have a lot of hormonal acne and scarring. The best part of like hosting people in your house is that it just feels like more casual and intimate and it is because they're coming into your home, but it just gives, it takes the pressure off on like actually getting ready, which is why I like it so much. And if you cannot see, I have a lot of hormonal acne and scarring and I know how this sounds. I have had perfect skin literally almost my entire life until last year. One year ago, my skin decided to say, I have all these issues with you and clearly there is something internal going on with me that I'm trying to figure out right now of why my body is reacting this way. Of course, the year I'm starting a YouTube channel is the year that my skin freaks out. Um, but for this video, I thought I would just kind of do how I've been covering up my acne lately. And I'm starting with this little guy. This is like kind of a little bit of a color corrector. It's actually a concealer. But I like this and I put this on all of my little dark spots. And this is kind of like actually in my skin tone. Um, it has a little bit of an orange-ish tone to it when you look hard. And I think that's what really neutralizes the dark spots. Um, and your girl definitely needs, needs this cover up. <laughs> but once we have everything covered up, that's when I go in with my foundation, which I never ever used to do a full face especially in the summer, like unless I had an event, like if I'm seeing my friends, I'm not getting ready because they're my friends and I love them and they love me for me. So like, I just wouldn't, but now it's just gotten to a point where I feel so self-conscious of just everything happening that I have started to wear a little more makeup when I'm seeing them. So this is the Hourglass uh, Vanish Stick Foundation in Golden Amber. I've worn it forever. I use Golden Amber in the summer as my concealer and in the winter as just like my regular shade. And now I'm using the Mented Cosmetics Foundation Stick in T10. And this is really one of my like perfect shades. I feel like I'm not putting really anything on <laughs> when I when I do this, which is which is the goal. So I'm happy about that. And then I don't really do anything except just kind of um like press it in with with a makeup brush and I was a beauty blender girl forever like ever and ever also if you want me to do like a full makeup video of like my Miss America makeup and whatnot let me know if the people want to see that because I can do it I mean I obviously am really good at my makeup I've done it for years and years and years I was professionally like trained to do it with um I guess not professionally trained but I had a makeup lesson with Kim Kardashian's makeup artist, Mario, shout out, makeup by Mario. He sat down with me before I went to Miss New York and we did like an entire like five hour lesson together, which was life changing. But ever since then, I've always done my own makeup if I've had to for, I mean, basically every day, if not events, but like, yo, know, covering up this stuff is, is a different skill. It is a different kind of practice, but you know, she's getting there. To do what she can today. So now that like everything is actually pretty evened out, which is the goal, um, I'm gonna do a little trick with these and that's to use a little bit of a darker foundation. This is the Armani foundation and this is a much darker shade than I normally use. It's number 14 and I normally use 8.75. So you take a little bit on a little puff and I'm just gonna put it on, oops. Don't do that. I meant to put it on my my actual pimple. No, it's okay. We'll fix it. We'll fix it. Okay, I'm failing miserably at this. There we go. It's a little better. Okay. And you do this like darker situation because anything that's darker, you don't want sticking out. And then you go back in with like your little lighter and push this kind of in to the skin. So obviously when you have bumps, they're just not gonna totally disappear, but at least you can kind of, you know, get them under control. But I'm gonna use a powder to just kind of press and set all of this so all my hard work does not go away because also like if you are putting blush on top of this or anything, it will smudge and then you'll see the spots underneath or like what you just covered up. So I'm not trying to do that and just Pat, pat, pat a little bit. If you can tell, I like never really put stuff on my forehead. I am terrible at that. Do, does anyone else do that? Like I just, 
it's not that I'm terrible. I'm just like, oh, that's, she's fine. She's good. Like, why, why do I need to put stuff up there? Okay, so honestly, this is kind of the finished full coverage if you're dealing with some acne scars that I have been figuring out myself lately. And I'm gonna put a lip on one second. I've lately just been taking gloss and like kind of smudging it into my lip liner line and it actually turns out really pretty and feels just a little more natural. But this is honestly the finished look. I put my hair up in a little claw clip and this is um, just a really easy, I mean, I don't know if it was easy, but it is a way to still feel like you're a little covered and looks like your skin. So let me know what you have tried if you have struggled with acne and um, specifically hormonal acne in the past year. I'm trying quite a few new things. I don't wanna share them yet because I really want to understand what is working for me and I'm and how that's working for me. And that's been a process that I've been doing for the past couple of months. So hopefully um, soon I do want to make some videos about what that was like for me and what that is like for me as I share this process with you. I think a lot of times people love seeing like before and afters, but that's just not why I want to do this. I mean, I think a part of this is just sharing what we're going through in real time. And so comment below, let me know what you found, maybe discovered, and um, let me know more of if you like seeing things like this. I don't know. Um, and if it's helpful. Uh, but okay, we're gonna have to go finish up all the dinner things. <laughs>